For over 130 years, the College of Medicine at the University of Manitoba has been a leader in scholarship, discovery, and community engagement. Western Canada's first medical school was established in 1883 to meet the needs of a rapidly growing frontier city. Today, we are a crucial component of Manitoba's healthcare system, educating the majority of the province's physicians with state-of-the-art technology and world-class instruction. Being in a situation in the simulation lab where it's almost identical to what it would be like in a real-life situation, it's actually very helpful and I've often referred back to those situations. The University of Manitoba has one of the best simulation labs in the country. Um, I was very impressed uh, coming here on my interview actually for medicine and that was actually one of the deciding factors that led me to want to attend the University of Manitoba was seeing if I'm going to get this kind of experience here this is the place that I want to be. In the College of Medicine education reaches beyond the clinic and classroom you know, in many ways we are given the remarkable privilege of being able to intervene in people's lives. And when you extend that, we have the remarkable privilege of intervening in the life of a community and or of a nation. The College of Medicine partners with Indigenous communities to achieve optimal health and well-being of First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples through such initiatives as the J.A. Hildes Northern Medical Unit, Student Clinical Exposures and the Northern and Remote Family Medicine Residency Program. Indigenous curriculum, mentors, elders and the Medicine Wheel Garden support a culturally safe environment for our Indigenous students to thrive in. Well, the College of Medicine has a really good base. Uh, they've provided a lot of supports for medical students. Through the Center for Aboriginal Health Education, they have actually provided support for the other disciplines in health uh, careers as well. The College of Medicine also develops pipeline programs such as the Biomedical Youth Camp and the Inner City Science Centre aimed to inspire children by providing them with new experiences. Part of our responsibility, I think, is to increase those exposures so it at least gives them a sense of the world that includes science, includes experimentation, includes a broader perspective on life. As a leader of global discovery and innovation, the College of Medicine has a distinguished history of research excellence. Our researchers have discovered a hormone key to infertility and reproductive disorders, developed a life-saving vaccine for RH disease, uncovered a natural immunity to HIV, and are currently developing an Ebola vaccine with our partners at the National Microbiology Lab. We are home to 15 Canada Research Chairs and 25 research centres and affiliates renowned for our collaborative work with communities in Canada and globally. And we've had close to $100 million in funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for our various projects. Uh, first in HIV prevention and now more in maternal, newborn and child health. And our work uh, in HIV has had a, a major impact in how countries and the world looks at HIV prevention. As our internationally recognized researchers change and save lives around the world, their legacy lives on right here in the next generation of University of Manitoba trailblazers they inspired. The influence of, of, uh, of mentors when I was in training like Alan Ronald and, and Frank Plummer, it really showed how people could, uh, could maintain excellence in their work here but also could contribute uh, globally and that um, and that even coming from a college of medicine in Manitoba you could really have an impact on the world. <laughs>